All right, mm -hmm. good evening. Today we'll be doing a total body sculpt routine. So let's just start by moving and swing those arms. You can step side to side or do whatever else you wanna do. We're gonna breathe in through our nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And bring those arms above your head if you want. Okay, keep breathing. Good. All right. A little marching in place action here. Good. Deep breath in and out. Okay. Let's start with our punches. So punching in any direction for 15 seconds. All right, ready, set, go. Good. Again, you can stick with the same direction and just go back and forth, whatever feels comfortable. We're just trying to keep moving, get our heart rate up. You can step your feet kind of side to side so you don't twist that, that knee. Good. All right, three, two, one. All right. A little active breaths going on. We'll start again in three, two, one. Good. Use that core. Awesome. Good job. Okay, keep breathing. We have three, two, one. All right. A little active rest, a little dance in between. Just kidding, you don't have to do that. Uh, all right, we'll start again in three, two, one. Good. Keep going. Keep breathing. A few more punches. Three, two, one. All right, active rest. We'll do one more round. We have three, two, one. All right, punching. Good. Keep going. Awesome. Almost there. And then we'll go into our first two strength exercises. Three, two, one. Okay. So for our first strength exercise, we're going to do a reverse lunge. We're going to start on one side, then we'll switch to the other. Like always, feel free to hold on to something. You decide how far. You want to step back and how far down you want to go. Only thing is just make sure that front knee is not going over your toe. So you can just step back and meet back up with your other foot, or you can go further down. All right, ready? We'll do 12 on each side in three, two, one. Good. Awesome. Just again, check on that front knee. Make sure it's not going over your toe. Awesome. Keep your chest upright as best you can. And again, feel free to hold on to something. Good, five, good, six, seven, good, eight, nine. Awesome, keep breathing, check on that knee. Good, last two, and final one. Good, all right, give those legs a shake. We'll switch to the other side. Again, feel free to hold on. We'll step back. Make sure that knee doesn't go over your toe and knee back with your other foot. Good, trying to stay upright, trying not to lean over. Good, four. Good, five. Six. Good, keep breathing, you got this. Seven, eight, good, nine, ten, good, last two, eleven, and twelve. Okay, let's give those legs a shake. We're going to switch between that and a bicep curl to shoulder press, optional shoulder press. But if you don't do the shoulder press, I want you to do 
double the amount of curls. Okay, so elbows glued, curl, optional press. When you're doing the press, try to relax those shoulders. Good, awesome. Three. Good. Four. Good. Keep going. Five. Keep the neck relaxed. Six. Good. Seven. Keep going. Eight. Awesome. Nine. Good, keep breathing. Three more, 10. 11. And last one. Perfect. Okay, we got those arms and legs fired up. You can put those weights to the side and we'll go back to our reverse lunge. All right, start with your feet together. Feel free to hold on to something. Step back as far as you can or how you feel comfortable and make sure that front knee doesn't go over your toe. Keep that chest up. Keep breathing. Three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. And keep going. You got this. Check on that knee. Make sure it's not being sneaky and going over your toe. Good. 10. Last two, 11. And 12. Okay, give both legs a shake. We'll move to the other side. Feet together. Step back. Check on that knee. Two. Good. Three. Good. Keep going. Four. Keep that chest up. Keep breathing. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Good. Check on that knee again. Last four. Oops. Three. Two and last one. Perfect. All right. Give those legs a shake and we'll go back to the curl with the optional press. Okay. So get in your position for your curl. We'll curl to the top and optional press. Keep the neck nice and relaxed. Make sure those shoulders don't come up to your ears. Good. Three. Good. Four. Five. Good. Six. Good. Seven. Keep breathing. Eight. Good. Nine. Good. Keep going. Ten. You got this. Last two. Eleven. And final one. Curl and press. Awesome. Okay. Let's go into our next cardio burst, which will be butt kickers. Again, you don't actually have to kick your butt, but in that general direction, or you can do side to side hamstring curl. And you can even move your arms with this one or, or any of them, whenever you want to. Okay. I will switch between the modified and the jumping version. You choose whichever one feels more comfortable. Okay. Ready? And go. Good. And no matter which one you're doing, you can add some arms in if you want. Good. Keep breathing. 
Almost there. We have three, two, one. All right, active rest. Deep breath in, out. All right, we'll start up again. I will do the modified version in three, two, one. Good. Again, arms are optional. Good. Trust, trying to get that heart rate up, whichever one you're doing. Good. We have three, two, one. Okay, active rest. Deep breath in and out. All right, ready, set, and go. Keep going. Awesome. Keep breathing. You got this. Good. Almost there. We have three, two, one. All right. Active rest. Deep breath in and out. All right. One more round in three, two, one. Okay, whichever one you want to do, modified or not. And we're going to do a mix of both. Start with the jumping and then you can come back to this, whatever feels more comfortable. Okay, almost there. We have three, two, one. Okay, the next two we're going to switch between and we're going to do a regular squat and we're going to do it 12 times and then we're going to hold down at the bottom for 30 seconds. We're going to switch between that and a reverse pack fly to target that upper back. So let's start with our squats. About hip distance apart, you decide how far you want to go down. So pretend as if there's a chair. You're not going to really sit. Pretend like there's a chair. Make sure those knees and toes are facing forward and the knees are not going over your toes. We'll do 12. And on the last one, we're going to hold as low as you can, trying for 30 seconds. And so let me get the timer out now. All right, ready? And start with those squats. Again, feel free to hold on. Just do a little bit down. You don't have to go super far. Really focusing on your positioning. Good. Keep breathing. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Good. Keep breathing. Check on those knees. Good. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And hold on this last one. Hold. Again, if it's starting to hurt your knees or anything like that, feel free to come up or definitely come up back. <laughs> um, all right. Make sure those knees aren't over your toes. We don't want to hold it in a bad position. Good. Almost there. We have 10 seconds. Now it's hard. You got this. Good. We have three, two, one. Ah, okay. Give those legs a shake. We'll grab our optional dumbbells and go into a reverse pec fly. So we're going to have our feet together. Slight bend in the knee, hinging at the waist, back flat, weight out in front, head wherever it feels least amount of pressure on your neck. Bring those arms up, pretend as if your shoulder blades could touch, and slowly back down. Again, you can do this with or without a dumbbell. Good. Three. Good. Nice and slow. Four. Five. Six, good, don't forget to squeeze at the top. Seven, eight, nine, 10, good. Keep breathing, last two, 11 and 12. Okay, great, you can put those to the side. We'll go back to our squat with the hold. So again, hip distance apart, knees and toes facing forward, coming down as if you were sitting on a chair, 
as far down as you feel comfortable. Check on those knees and come back up. Okay. Two. Good. Three. Keep breathing. Four. Good. Five. You decide how far you go down. Six. Check on those knees. Seven. Good. Make sure the knees aren't coming in towards each other or out to the side. They're still facing forward. All right, three more. Good, you got this. And on this last one, we're gonna hold and stop. Check on those knees. Good. All right, you got this. Keep holding, keep breathing. Good. We're halfway there. Good. Almost there. A few more. We have three, two, one. Okay. We'll go back to the reverse peck fly. Okay. So feet together. It's a light bend in the knee, hinging at the waist. Weights out in front of you, back flat, head wherever it feels comfortable. And we'll come up to the top, squeeze and slowly down. Two. And three. Four. And five. Keep breathing. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, good, keep breathing. 10, 11, and 12. Okay, perfect. You can put those weights to the side. We're gonna do one more cardio burst, then we'll take a little break. Okay, so we're gonna do one of my favorites, the skater. So again, either stepping side to side, or jumping. Again, like I'm always wearing socks, probably don't wear socks depending on where you are. You don't want to slip out when you jump from side to side or even step. So don't follow this advice right here. All right, ready, set, and go. And again, you can use those arms, either jumping or stepping from side to side. I will switch between both. Good, keep breathing. Good. Keep breathing. We have three, two, one. All right, active rest. Keep breathing. We'll start again in three, two, one. Good. Keep going. Whichever one you're doing, just try to keep that heart rate up. Good. We have three, two, one. All right, we have two more rounds and then we get a little break. All right, ready, set, and go. And jumping or stepping, keep breathing here. Good, and use that core to help you as well. Good, it's always helpful to use that core. Good, almost there, we have three, two, one. All right, one last active rest, then we have one round to go. Okay, ready, set, go. Good, keep going. 10 seconds left. Good, keep going. We have three, two, one. Ah, okay, take a little break. Grab some water and I will meet you on the floor. Take your time. I'm getting down. There already, just you can start on your back. Um, 
There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna start right on our back. And we will need our dumbbell, or at least one dumbbell, actually. No, I'll bring both, actually, just so they're by your side. Then we're gonna, but we're gonna start on our back. So just keep breathing here. You can do a little side to side knees if, if you would like. And then we'll just lay here for a minute. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Let's do two more before we start. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay. We're going to start with the dead bug. So your hands can be wherever they want. We're gonna make sure our lower back is pressed to the ground. Our legs are at 90 degrees. And then we're gonna push them out in front of us. So we start to engage that lower core. And then we're gonna let one heel tap, meet back up. Other heel tap down, meet back up. Again, if that lower back starts to pop up, I want you to do the modified version or just take breaks in between. The modified version would be keeping one leg on the floor and the other one doing that dead bug motion. All right, we're gonna do eight on each side, whichever way you do it. Okay, ready? And go. Really press that lower back to the floor. Two. Keep breathing. Again, don't hesitate to take a break, especially if your lower back's coming up. You don't want this to pull on your lower back. Good. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Two more on each side. Seven. And last one. Perfect. Okay. Let that, those legs rest, the core rest, and bring those knees side to side. And then we are going to come onto our side and do a rotator cuff exercise. So come onto your side. The legs can be doing whatever they want. They're not involved in this at all. But we will grab one of our dumbbells. We're gonna have, oops, we're gonna have our elbow glued to our side. We're gonna have our arm at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna come to the top as much as you can without rolling onto your side or lifting your elbow off your body. Then come all the way back down. Two, good. Three. Four, good, nice and slow. It's usually harder than you think, especially when you get towards the end. You're like, all right, this is harder than I thought. At least that's what I feel. Good, eight, make sure that elbow stays glued. Nine, we're gonna do 12, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. So gracefully we'll move to the other side. Okay, take your time. All right, and again, the legs can do whatever they want. They can be bent, they can be straight. We're gonna have that elbow glued to our, our side. We're gonna come up to the top and down. Trying to keep that 90 degrees. Good. Three. Good. Keep breathing. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Keep breathing. Nine. Make sure it's still glued. Last two, and final one. All right, we're gonna come back to the dead bug. 
So onto your back again. I know we're doing a lot of rolling around. <laughs> Part of the exercise. Okay, let me back up a little bit. All right, so again, press that lower back into the ground, 90 degrees, extend them out a bit to engage the lower core. Heel taps down, knees back up. Other heel taps down and up. Good. We're going to do eight on each side. Keep breathing and press that lower back into the ground. Three. Good. Four. Good. Five. Keep going. You got this. Six. Seven. Good, one more on each side. Eight. Good, okay. Do a little side to side knee if it feels okay. All right, we're gonna go back to the rotator cuff. So let's come on to one of our sides again. Okay, try to get semi-comfortable. Then we're going to have our elbow glued, grab that dumbbell, 90 degrees, and back down. Two, three, keep breathing, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, good, 10, good, 11, and last one. I'm sure you feel this by the end. So we wanna be feeling it right up in the top of our arm into our shoulder. Okay, let's flip to the other side once again. Ooh, right. I know a lot of rolling around. Okay. Oops, that one away. All right. We're on our side again. Grab that dumbbell, elbow glued up to the top, and back down. Two, three, four. Good, keep breathing, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, 10, good, last two, 11, and 12. Good, okay, toss, or don't toss it. Pull your weight to the side. And we'll come onto our back, I promise. No rolling around again. So we're gonna come onto our back and we're going to just do biking for 30 seconds, take a rest, bike again for 30 seconds, and then we'll stretch. So we're in the home, stretch. How many times can I say stretch in a minute? A lot, okay. So again, same with this one, make sure that lower back is pressed to the ground. Let me get that timer out here, oops. Okay, we'll start pedaling in three, two, one. Pedal, so again, as fast or slow as you'd like, just keeping that lower back flat. So you're pedaling along, you can even close your eyes, you can use your arms, cha-cha, whatever you wanna do. You don't have to use your arms. Okay, we're 10 seconds, not in, 10 seconds left. We have three, two, one. Little rest, you can do a little side to side. Good. Okay, we'll do 30 more seconds. Three, two, one, pedaling away. Good, where are we going? Somewhere good, I hope. 
All right. You got this. Keep that lower back flat. That's the most important part. Good. We're halfway there. Keep pedaling, keep breathing. Keep that lower back down. 10 seconds. Good. We have three, two, one. You did it. Okay, now let's do a little stretch routine. Feel free to repeat this a second time or stretch. Uh, check out our longer stretch video. Definitely skip anything that doesn't feel comfortable and feel free to close your eyes. You can think of something peaceful or you can keep them open. We're going to bring our arms out to the side and we're going to bring both knees over to one side into a spinal twist. Make sure you're breathing through all these stretches. Good. Good. Keep breathing. All right, we'll switch slowly to the other side. Bring those knees over to the other side and spinal twist in the other direction. Breathing here, no holding your breath. Good, keep breathing. Good, okay. Coming back onto your back. And then we're gonna bring both those knees in towards our chest, either holding above or underneath our leg. And we're just gonna sway from side to side if you would like. All right, we're gonna release one of those legs and hold the other one towards our chest. Keep breathing. Good. Almost there, a couple more seconds. Just don't forget to breathe. And then we'll slowly switch sides, letting that other leg extend out. Keep breathing. We'll go into the pretzel or piriformis stretch next. So the first step in that, we're gonna first just put our feet on the ground. Optional, either bringing your leg over your other and pushing that knee away from you or grabbing that opposite leg in towards your chest for a deeper stretch. So see how this feels. If it feels okay, go ahead. Keep breathing. Good. A few more seconds. And slowly let go of that leg and uncross. We'll go to the other side, cross that leg over. You can either stay here and push that knee away or bring that opposite leg in towards yourself. Breathing here. Good. Keep breathing. Hold a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to straighten out our legs, reach our arms over our head, doing a whole body stretch here. Keep breathing. Here's a few more seconds. Okay, you can slowly bring those arms down to your side. Take a couple more breaths and then we'll slowly make our way to standing. All right, start again, extra slow. And I will meet you up there. Take your time. All right, if you're not up yet, no worries, take your time. 
We're gonna just do some shoulder rolls back. Nice, keep breathing. We're gonna roll them forward. Okay, we're gonna do a big head roll, nice and slow all the way around. Once you reach the beginning point, you can rotate the other direction. We're gonna bring those legs apart. Little bend in the knee, letting your whole body fall forward. Swing those arms from side to side. Optional grabbing onto those elbows. Keep breathing and we'll slowly roll to the top. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Let's do two more. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, great job.